So we're going to be talking about the saphenous opening. In this diagram, you can see the saphenous opening is right here, this one. Uh, through the saphenous opening, a vein passes, which is called the great saphenous vein right here. This passes through it. And the saphenous opening is covered with fascia that has pores. Like this is the saphenous opening. It's an oval opening that's directed downwards. It has dots in it like it has openings that's why it's called a cribriform fascia it's covered with the fascia that has dots that has spots or spaces inside it's called the cribriform fascia through which the great saphenous vein passes if we talk about the location of this opening it's four centimeter below and four centimeter lateral to the pubic tubercle you can see that this is the inguinal ligament inguinal ligament that comes from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle if we move downwards from the pubic tubercle four centimeter uh, below and four centimeter lateral to the pubic tubercle we're gonna we're gonna look uh, we're gonna see this thing this is called the saphenous opening this is another diagram of the saphenous opening we can see this side of the uh, the opening it's called the falciform margin uh, it's uh, crescentic in shape like this it's crescentic in shape so it is it, uh, it's called falciform margin where the lateral side is the falciform margin the medial side is this one medial side lies a little bit deeper uh, but it's still in the deep fascia where the lateral one is a little bit outside 